Harry's proud to be will apply for British citizenship and also be baptised before they marry at Windsor Castle in Maine. Fun and joyful ceremony paid for by the royal family. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding will take place at St. George's Chapel in the grounds of Windsor Castle in May because it is a place close to the couple's hearts, it was revealed today. The couple chose the very special venue because the prince and his fiance spent time there together during their 16-month romance and Harry was based in the town with his army regiment, the Blues and Royals. They have not given the date for their fun and joyful wedding, which is likely to be on TV, but thanked millions of people around the world celebrating with them since their engagement was announced yesterday. Divorcee Meghan, a Protestant who went to a Catholic high school, will be baptized and confirmed before the spring ceremony to comply with the royal family's beliefs that they should all join the Church of England. American Meghan, who has relocated from her home in Toronto, Canada, will also be taking British citizenship to before May, a process that usually takes years. It is not clear whether the actress will retain her U.S. citizenship and become a dual national in the future. The couple have shunned a larger wedding at Westminster Abbey or St. Paul's for a more intimate church service at St. George's, where his father Charles had a blessing after marrying Camilla in the nearby Guildhall in 2005. It also means Queen and Prince Philip can easily travel to the wedding of the year as it was revealed that the royal family will pay for the event, the music, the flowers and the reception. The actress divorced parents Thomas Markle and Dory Ragland will both be there but it's not known if her father will walk her down the aisle. It has also emerged today Meghan will not be continuing her work with the UN or other organizations, but instead will starting her charity work as a full-time royal afresh and begin touring the country with Harry. The couple's first public engagement will be on Friday at the National Justice Museum in Nottingham. Harry's communications secretary Jason Ruff said Windsor was a very special place for Harry and that he and Ms. Markle had spent time there together during their 16-month romance. He said the couple were delighted to be holding the wedding in the beautiful grounds of Windsor. The Prince's Regiment, the Blues and Royals, one of two regiments which make up the household cavalry, are also based in Windsor and he spent many happy periods at the castle, where his grandparents spend large portions of the year. Mr. Nuff said the couple, who are grateful for the warm wishes from the public, would be putting their stamp on their wedding day and would make sure it reflects who they are as a couple. The newly engaged couple have also plumped for May to avoid clashing with the birth of Prince William and Kate's third child, which is due in April. Mr. Nuff revealed that while one of Ms. Markle's beloved dogs Guy was legally allowed to stay with her in the UK, the other, Bogart, would not be joining her. Bogart is now living with friends, Mr. Nuff revealed. In Nottingham, the pair will visit the Nottingham Contemporary which is hosting a Terence Higgins Trust World AIDS Day charity fair and also visit Nottingham Academy to meet your teacher taking part in the Full Effect program. There will also be a walkabout by the bride and groom to be a royal rite of passage for the future royal. Ms. Markle is to become the fourth patron of the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Prince Harry. The actress will not be continuing her work on gender with the UN or with other organizations, but instead will starting her charity work as a full-time royal afresh. The exact date of the wedding will be revealed at a later stage. Mr. Nuff said Harry and Ms. Markle want the public to feel part of their day and are looking at ways to achieve that. Prince George and Princess Charlotte have also been introduced to their soon-to-be new aunt and have since met on several occasions. The palace said the Queen has granted permission for the wedding to take place at the chapel. St. George's Chapel is a royal peculiar with the Dean of Windsor responsible only to the Sovereign. In 2005, the monarch attended the religious blessing of the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall, both divorcees in St. George's, but did not go to their civil ceremony beforehand in the Windsor Guildhall. 
However, the palace confirmed the Queen will be a guest at Harry's wedding. Mr. Nuff said, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are extremely grateful for the warm public response following yesterday's announcement of their engagement. In a happy moment in their lives, it means a great deal to them that so many people throughout the UK, the Commonwealth and around the world are celebrating with them. He added, Prince Harry and Ms. Markle are delighted that the beautiful grounds of Windsor Castle will be where they begin their lives together as a married couple. The couple of course want the day to be a special, celebratory moment for their friends and family. They also want the day to be shaped so as to allow members of the public to feel part of the celebrations too and are currently working through ideas for how this might be achieved. This wedding, like all weddings, will be a moment of fun and joy that will reflect the characters of the bride and groom. Prince Harry and Ms. Markle are leading the planning process for all aspects of the wedding. We look forward to sharing these details with you in the months ahead as decisions are made. Mr. Nuff said on the visit to Nottingham, Harry was looking forward to introducing Ms. Markle to a community that has become very special to him. The Full Effect program, led by Harry and set up by the Royal Foundation, seeks to combat youth violence. Ms. Markle cannot wait to meet many of the young people Prince Harry has told her so much about. Mr. Nuff said. He added the away day will begin with a civic welcome at the National Justice Museum followed by a walkabout where they will be able to greet members of the public as a couple for the first time. The event for World AIDS Day would be an upbeat fun event that will highlight the work to smash stigma that can still exist around Ive in the Midlands, he said.